Welcome to the fast lane car, or should we say fast electric car, because this is a brand new Tesla Model S, the P85 model, which has a 300 mile battery. In other words, it'll go 300 miles on a complete charge. And this is a quick take review, coming up next on the fast lane car. I think this car is gorgeous from a style perspective. I mean, just look at it. It takes the word minimalism and applies it to the automotive design language. They nailed it. They knocked it out of the ballpark. I especially love the massive tires, the sexy rear end, and the generous use of carbon fiber. It is a beautiful car that, well, heralds for many people a new age of cars, period. All right, zero to 60. Air density plays no role in this acceleration run. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm never 60! Oh, that was 4.95, 4.95. Now, uh, I'm gonna give it one more chance. One more chance. Let's see if I can uh, be 4.95. I think I can do a better rollout than that. Uh, there is no launch control in this car. Basically, you just floor the pedal. What you immediately notice when you get behind the wheel of the Model S is that massive 17-inch touchscreen display. It controls everything in the car, from entertainment to HVAC to the dynamic controls of the car. It's very modern, it's very sleek, it's very cool. From behind the wheel of the Tesla, you're immediately struck by, first of all, how quiet it is and how tight it is. It is exceptionally well put together. There's a feeling of almost Mercedes-like vault-like quality about this car. It's an expensive car. $107,000 is a lot of money, but it feels like $107,000. It's a completely different driving experience. When you take your foot off the accelerator, and it is an accelerator, it is not a gas pedal, there's massive amounts of regenerative braking, feeding power back into the battery, so you really don't use the brakes much. I had a chance to go to the Tesla dealership, and they don't have much of a service department because they don't need a lot of a service department. I mean, there's not a lot of fluids to change on this car. The brakes, like I say, you don't use very often, and if the motor goes wrong, well, it's probably just easier to replace the whole motor than it is to actually try to fix it. And no, I don't fit back here. Remember the 70s when we used to drive around in the station wagon facing out the back? Well, Elon Musk has brought those days back. If you've got two kids that are under 70 pounds, this is where they'll want to be. Oh yeah, <laughs> all that torque pulls your face back, and here is 60 right there. Oh, that was faster. 4.73, 4.73, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, the other thing you notice and you learn to love is this. <laughs> Instant, immediate, and fantastic torque. Acceleration is all about torque. It's not about horsepower. Top speed is about horsepower. Torque is what gives you that. in your chest put a smile on your face and this car especially doing that is just a hoot to drive and especially when you combine the fact that it's so tight the steering is precise the wheels are well dampened you don't feel like you're getting beat up and yet at the same time you feel like this car would be as comfortable on the track as it is on the road it's heavy but the weight is all down low, which gives you a low center of gravity, which is exactly what you want in a car with great handling dynamics. And all these things make for a really fun and enjoyable and enthusiastic driving experience. Now, of course, the question is, is it as fast as the internal combustion engine? Oh, 
Third time's a charm, look at that. Guess what, I went even faster that time. 4.63, 4.63, that's uh, it's pretty damn good, pretty damn good. I'm impressed, I am thoroughly impressed. In terms of competition, well, obviously there is none. The Model S is its own car. Nobody else makes an all-electric car that comes even close to the capabilities of this. Sure, it competes with the 5 Series, perhaps uh, A6 or an S6, but in terms of just technology, no one's there yet. Yeah, there are cars like the Leaf and maybe the Fiat 500 electric that are all electric, but none that approach the level of refinement, the level of thought, the level of, well, technology that this car has. You do feel like this is just a tour de force. You do feel like Elon Musk has leapfrogged the auto industry to the next level. Can you take it on a long road trip? Not yet, but they're working on it. So on the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, I don't know. I've only driven it approximately half hour, so it's not fair to the car. But what I can tell you is that I am sincerely impressed by the capabilities of this vehicle. It is everything I thought it would be and much more. So you'll have to come back when we can get our hands on it for a lot longer for a full review. As always, this is Roman saying thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao. Welcome to another episode of the Fastlane Car and today we're all about fuel economy and Nathan said he's bringing the car that gets incredible fuel economy and of course he's driving it like Nathan knows what he's doing. Like he's driving that Focus ST. Dude, this thing's all about fuel economy. What the heck are you doing? I'm sorry, the interior reminds me of the Focus ST. I just lost myself. It looks kind of like a guppy to me. But anyway, what are we reviewing today? This is the Ford C-Max Energy. Coming up next on the Fastlane Car.